How does a satellite vanish? And then speak again half a century later. In 1965, a small American satellite named LES-1, short for Lincoln Experimental Satellite 1, was launched by the U.S. Air Force to test military communication technologies. It was part of a broader effort to understand how radio signals behave in space. But just minutes after reaching orbit, something went wrong. A failure in the satellite's power system rendered it silent. Engineers lost contact. Officially, LES-1 became space debris, an inert metal shell drifting aimlessly around Earth. Its expected lifespan had lasted less than an hour. But in 2013, nearly 48 years later, Amateur radio operators began picking up a strange intermittent radio signal on 237 megahertz. The signal was pulsed, consistent, like a heartbeat. Analysis confirmed the impossible. It was LES-1. Somehow, this long-dead satellite had reawakened. So how could a satellite, untouched for decades, suddenly begin transmitting again? The best theory is both simple and incredible. LES-1's power system likely failed due to a wiring fault, preventing its solar panels from charging the batteries correctly. But over time, the battery degraded, and that failure may have ironically helped it. Once the battery could no longer hold a charge, the solar panels began powering the transmitter directly, but only when in sunlight. Hence the pulse signal. LES-1 is effectively alive only when it sees the sun. The satellite's weak signal still follows a regular pattern, strengthening and fading as it rotates. It spins once every four seconds, and each burst of radio comes with eerie, decades-old data that no one knows how to fully decode. LES-1 was never meant to function this long, and certainly not after failing. Its case has become an icon in space communications history, a reminder of how hardware in space often outlives both its designers and its design. It's not the only ghost signal up there. In 2009, an Australian observatory caught brief signals from ISS E3 a NASA spacecraft launched in 1978. In 2014, amateur scientists made contact with it and even briefly took control of the probe using makeshift equipment and crowdfunding. Stories like these raise unsettling and fascinating questions. What else might be out there, whispering from deep time? What forgotten machines might still be watching us or waiting for light.